The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello and good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining today's session. Uh, in today's session, we're going to be covering Mel our MailChimp uh, uh, solution. MailChimp is part of the usability, it's not part of the usability package, but it's a module within the usability package. If you're familiar with the usability package, that's your solution. And then if MailChimp is needed, you will see um, you can activate it. Okay? It does have the different license, license uh, you need a, a license for it. Okay? You see right here on the right side, uh, Within the usability package, we also have print and delivery, uh, document manager, budget, and B1 time task. But today we're going to talk about MailChimp. Okay? So MailChimp, one, you have to create an account with uh, MailChimp. And you can create a free account if you have uh, up to 2,000 recipients, which is really nice. So go in there create an account and create your uh, lists, your newsletter lists, okay? And we have the integration from SAP Business One to this, uh, to your MailChimp account, and I will show you in the system in a minute. So once you have it uh, um, connected, you can upload your contact people uh, straight from SAP, as you see right here on the list you can upload them as a bulk. And you have your newsletter list updated uh, just by one, a couple clicks coming uh, out from SAP Business One. Or the other option you have on the Business Partner Master Data, on the Contact Person tab, you have the option once you add a new contact person to a business partner that you can um, upload that contact uh, to a newsletter a list right away from there. So let's go into the system uh, to SAP Business One. I'm going to minimize my uh, dashboard, which is from the usability package. And if I go to administration and add on, add on manager, you see I have the usability package connected. The usability package, if you don't know, is a tool where you can customize your SAP Business One in a very simple way. Okay, you can do validation, you can automate your tasks, and so on. It saves you a lot of uh, time, and you can be more productive. And you will see on my screens when I go open up the business, SAP Business One screens that they look different than uh, a regular SAP Business One screen. So my uh, solution is connected. I have this folder right here, uh, usability package. Then I'll go into module configuration. And here I have a MailChimp folder, okay? The first thing you do is you configure it. And you see right here, you would put in your API key. So how do you get that? So I'm going to my MailChimp account. I'm already logged on. Uh, it's my account, as you see. And if I click right here, I'm going under Profile. And you have this tab right here, Extras. If I click on here, you see API key, okay? And here is my API key. And this is the one you need to copy into your configuration screen. You create one by clicking right here, create a key, okay? So if I go back to SAP Business One, I copy this key in here, in my case, it's already there. And this is your connection to your MailChimp account, okay? Here you can uh, merge tag mapping. This is for you which fields you want to show up, uh, you want to bring over from SAP Business One to your MailChimp list, and you will see this in a minute, okay? If you want to sync automatically on a regular basis, you can enable this right here and make sure you have the server component installed. Of course, it needs a serv uh, server component. And the batch mode is for you. Uh, you can, uh, it syncs as a batch. What it does, it sends the information uh, to MailChimp and whenever MailChimp has time, they will update your lists. Okay. 
but this is your configuration right here. Once this is done, you are connected, you can go ahead and go to add subscribers. And if you look right here, if I drop down, select your list, I have three lists here. Those lists come from my MailChimp account. So I'm going back to my MailChimp, going up here, and I click on lists. And here they are. You see, I have Boyum, BP, and Protomix. And you see, under Boyum, I have eight subscribers. Under Business Partner, one. And Protomix, I have five subscribers already. If I click on here, I see who they are. And you see, I bring the first name, last name, company name, and the notes in here. Okay? So now, let's go back to SAP Business One and say, okay, I would like to add more contacts to my Boyum list. And I have groups uh, within my list and also subgroups. So you can set this up on the business partner, um, uh, uh, on the uh, MailChimp account. Let's say print and delivery. So I'm going here and I'm going to add four more. Remember, I had eight there and I'm going to add four more and I'm going to click update. And you see, if I go back to my MailChimp account, I'm going to refresh it. You see 12 subscribers. That's how quick it is. It puts it right into your MailChimp, uh, into your, uh, MailChimp uh, lists. Give me one second here. Okay. So... Um, I go back into SAP Business One. If I want to put some into Protomax, you see I have different groups. What are you interested in? I set it up a little bit different. And maybe they are interested in print and delivery, or maybe they are interested in print and delivery and be one up. And then I'll just uh, select the contacts I want to upload. You see also here, you can filter. In my case, I show all my contacts and you can filter it with an advanced uh, SQL uh, statement, where statement. Okay. I'm going to click update. So remember, I put those to Protomax. If I go in here and I'm going to refresh, remember, you see right here, I have five subscribers. And once I refresh the list, there's nine subscribers because I added four more. That's how simple it is. So if I go back to SAP Business One, so here you can do a book upload. So now let's go into the Business Partner Master Data. In the Business Partner Master Data, if I pull one up right here and I go to Contact Person, you see right here, uh, you have a MailChimp option right here. Okay? If I scroll down here on the bottom, you have three MailChimp uh, fields right here. And this is really nice. You see right away, okay, did the email bounce for this uh, uh, contact or did this contact uh, unsubscribe? No, they haven't unsubscribed yet. Uh, do I want to exclude them uh, to add them to a MailChimp uh, uh, list? You can say yes or no. If I click yes here and I click update and I'll try to add them to one of my lists, you will see I will get an error. Contact person has been excluded from MailChimp. Okay? So if I click no and update, you see right here, I can now go in here, I can sync it, and I can actually go in here and pull up my list. And you see this one is already on the Boyum list. So let's put it, uh, this person on the uh, BP list and also on the Protomax list. Okay, and I'm going to click update. You see the email address is actually a, a phone number. I'm going to click update and it's going to update the lists for me. Okay, so I should have one more on the business partner and one more on the Protomax. If I refresh my list, you will see right here, I have now a second one on the BP and it's right here. And I have also another one on the Protomex. I have 10 now. 
Okay, so it's real time. You sync them up and they go to your MailChimp list and then they are on your uh, newsletter list for your next newsletter list. So if I go back to SAP Business One, I'm going to click OK. You see uh, uh, right here, if I go to a, another person, if I go right here and then I can just to show you, go in here, she is not listed either anywhere so you just click on her on the fly when you add the new contact so i always say once it's your first time upload them as a book and then you add a new uh, a contact person you upload them right from here okay so a uh, couple more things i want to show you this is basically it a couple more things i want to show you under administration add-on usability package module configuration under the MailChimp folder, you can also get a bounce report. You can get an unsubscribed report. And that is so nice. Uh, let's see if anybody unsubscribed. Oops, there was one. I guess that was too fast. So you see one person unsubscribed. Under Boyum, nobody unsubscribed. So you have your reports right here at your fingertips. And you also have your bounce report. And I don't have any in there. And then you have the statistic report. This is really uh, nice also. I have a, a campaign set up on my MailChimp uh, account. And then you say, okay, I did. Uh, I have a campaign over there, Poem Products. So then you can say, okay, who did not open uh, the email? Or who bounced? Uh, is there, was there any bounces, uh, bounced messages? Or did anybody unsubscribe? I don't have a lot of data in there because it is a simple database, as you saw, uh, just for you to show. But you have all the reporting right here also. Okay? So that makes it nice. What's the beauty is you don't have to export your contacts uh, from SAP Business One. Upload it to your MailChimp account right here. You can do it straight from SAP Business One with a very simp uh, simple way. With just a few clicks, you have everything uh, uh, synced with your MailChimp account. Okay. So if I go back here, if you want more information about our products, write to us. Those are all our products. We do have um, and you might be familiar with some of them. Uh, one thing I want to show you, because I do have CRM for Outlook listed, I'm going to pull it up really quick. Uh, CRM for Outlook is uh, integration to your Outlook, where you actually can get uh, SAP data from here. You see, it, it uh, recognizes the contact person, and it pulls up the business partner you are connected with. Uh, the contacts, if you are a contact in more than one of them, you have this list here. But what's really nice, you also have MailChimp information here. You see those three, um, those three user-defined fields? You can see it also from here. And that is really nice. You see that there are no email bounced uh, and they didn't unsubscribe. You also have it, that information in the CRM for Outlook if you have that. Um, I like to show that because it's a great tool. Um, if you have questions, write us to sales at Boyum. Uh, IT.com or support. If you want to download a free trial, go online and just put in there Boyum free trial. You get to this website. That's the top part. I have to cut it in two uh, print screen. And on the bottom part, you just click on the um, uh, the solution you would like to try out. You can get a 20-day free trial for you to try it out. Uh, it's it's a really nice uh, uh, thing for you to get hands on, to get the feel for it, and you will see how it will benefit to you and your company. Okay? So do you have any questions? I'm going to open it up, if I know, or write in the chat. If you have any questions, this will be um, uh, posted on YouTube, this recording. Okay, so you will have that. Um, if you don't have any questions, uh, I'll thank you for coming, but I'm going to wait a minute and see if somebody put something in the chat. 
If you have any more questions, please, uh, some of you, I recognize some names, uh, uh, you can email me. And otherwise, uh, just try to sell. Okay, get the free trial version on your computer. That's the best way um, uh, to always uh, uh, see it uh, with your own data or with your own sample data. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. It's a powerful tool. I love it. Uh, people who use it, they really do like it a lot. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day, everybody.